Correct electrode application is a critical part of any successful EEG and sleep recording. Using the proper technique will ensure that you get a lower impedance and better signal quality. The electrode site must be clean to remove dead skin cells from the skin surface, which can reduce conductivity. Also, oils and other residue need to be removed to improve electrode attachment. Accomplish both steps at once using an abrasive prep material, such as Mavidon's Green Prep or Lemon Prep products. Once the site is clean, attach the electrode to the skin securely using paste or collodion. When deciding between these two options, three factors should be considered. Will the recording last longer than a few hours? Will the patient be calm enough not to disturb the electrodes? And finally, will perspiration be an issue? If the answer to any of these questions is yes, collodion is the best choice. Collodion is the most stable and secure attachment method for long-term EEG monitoring, ambulatory recording, and sleep studies. It is non-conductive and holds even through hair, oils, and perspiration. Mavidon offers a variety of collodion products. All are fast curing and non-brittle, making them easier to use and more durable, and are available in various quantities to match your needs. Like any chemical, certain considerations should be taken with the use of collodion. Collodion is extremely flammable and can release harmful fumes. Proper care must be taken to ensure the material is used and stored safely. And it should be used only in an area with an appropriate air purifier, fume extractor, or ventilation system. Electrode application using collodion requires the following items. A tape measure and grease pencil for measuring and marking the head. Prep material and cotton swabs or gauze pads for cleaning the electrode site. Electrodes and electrode gel, cream or paste. Collodion, gauze pads, and an air pump. And a syringe with a blunt needle to inject the electrode gel. Place all of the items together on a tray or countertop within easy reach. Mark the electrode locations on the patient's head with a grease pencil, taking care to be as accurate as possible in your measurements. Cleaning the electrode site is extremely important. Mavidon Green Prep and Lemon Prep products are unique in that they contain both an abrasive lotion or gel to loosen dead skin and cleaning agents to remove oils and residue, all in one product. Plus, they are now available in single patient cups that prevent interpatient contamination and are easier to carry to remote sites and eliminate the wasted material that typically occurs with bottles or tubes. For each site, dip a cotton swab or gauze pad into the prep material and gently rub the center of your mark until the grease is no longer visible. This is a handy way to know that you have cleaned the site thoroughly. Be careful not to clean the area too long or too vigorously to avoid over-abrasion. This can damage the skin, causing recording interference and patient discomfort. Electrodes are available in gold and silver with different style cups for different applications. Long-term EEG monitoring in a lab or hospital setting typically uses high dome electrodes with a hole in the top for easier maintenance during the study. Ambulatory recordings and sleep studies may opt for the use of electrodes without the hole in the dome. All electrodes require electrode gel, paste, or cream to improve conductivity. Electrode gel is easily replaced throughout the recording without disturbing the electrode and is the better choice for long-term monitoring. The gel is added after the electrodes are in place, so leave them empty as you secure them. Electrode paste and cream do not dry out as quickly, so it is recommended for sleep or ambulatory tests where you will not have access to the electrodes for maintenance during testing. The material must be in the electrode as it is applied, so dip the electrode into the paste or cream and scoop out enough to fill the cup. Place it on the patient's head and press firmly until some of the paste or cream appears through the hole or at the edges. The paste will keep the electrode in place until you secure it with collodion. When securing the electrodes, a small container will allow you to apply precise amounts of collodion to each site. Mavidon's collodion tube is just the right size and helps prevent drying between uses. The reusable metal tips or disposable tube tips simply screw on to control flow. Make sure you have plenty of gauze pads available. Put a piece of gauze over each electrode. 
Then squirt small amounts of collodion onto the gauze until it is completely soaked. Be careful not to let the collodion spill over onto the patient's skin. Another option is to soak the gauze in collodion before applying it to the scalp. It can be helpful to line up the electrode wire with one corner of the gauze. This can provide additional support for the electrode. Use an electric air pump to blow air over the gauze and speed up the drying process. Once all the electrodes are in place, use a blunt needle syringe filled with electrode gel to fill each electrode through the hole in the dome. Electrode application is now complete. If possible, monitor the electrode sites during testing. The cream, paste, and especially the gel will dry out over time and need to be replaced. Replace or reattach any loose or broken electrodes by first removing any excess dry collodion in the area. Then use a new gauze pad and collodion. Always inspect the electrode sites for irritation, soreness, or other problems that might occur where the collodion adheres to the skin. Collodion is a very strong adhesive. Mavidon's collodion remover is a proprietary blend of mild solvents specially designed to soften collodion to facilitate removal. It is non-flammable, and its slow evaporation rate means far fewer fumes. Plus, it washes out completely with any mild shampoo or soap. Collodion remover is not recommended for electrode site maintenance, however, because it will inhibit collodion from reattaching. Apply the remover liberally to each electrode site to soak the collodion. Repeat for all the electrode sites. By the time you soak the last one, the first electrode will be loosening up. The oily feeling is a moisturizing oil that helps dissolve collodion and protects the skin and hair from drying out. After you remove all the electrodes, comb out as much of the residue as possible, but let the collodion remover remain, allowing it to continue working until the patient washes their hair. Be careful around low-density plastics, however, like glasses, hearing aids, or plastic tabletops, as collodion remover can dissolve these materials. Please wash these down with soap and water instead. Acetone is another common option for removing collodion. It is a strong solvent and can work faster than collodion remover, but it is very flammable, has a high evaporation rate, which leaves a residue, can dry out the patient's hair and skin, and releases harmful fumes that must be vented from the room. For safety and ease of use, we recommend using collodion remover instead. Collodion can be a very effective means of securing electrodes for EEG and sleep testing. Remember, abrasion plus a clean surface plus secure attachment equals lower impedance. Using the proper application technique will help ensure accurate and useful recordings. Mavidon's Green and Lemon Prep, Collodion, and Collodion Remover products help make testing easier for you and your patient. Contact Mavidon or your medical supply distributor for more information.